Okay. Like studying like now. <laughs> I mean, I I think that um just my appearance has afforded me certain um privileges and I think that I'm privy to hearing things than maybe somebody else might or um certain conversations that everybody's always like sure not to you know but um growing up it was kind of like it was I was always ambiguous enough that like maybe yes maybe no especially the older I get I think I'm getting more familiar with the insidious brand of racism that I think we have here that's um it's always very undercurrent you know, it's not quite as overt as it could be other places, and I think that that's one of the dangerous things about it, because it's like, oh, like, they're not saying this, or it's not that, so um, the older I get, the more I'm seeing the kind of sleight of hand, so I think that that's uh, a change that I've had as I've grown older. God. Um, I... I think they're being carried out by design. Like, I think that it's like none of this shit is accidental, right? Like, I don't care what, what stage we're talking about, what age we're talking about, what if we're talking about like gentrification in the CD right now, or if we're talking about redlining, wait, at whatever stage we're talking about this, it's all being carried out specifically based on the design. It's so on purpose. I think for me, my most powerful weapon um, that has kind of stayed true is the ability to be a critical thinker. So for me, I think that that is one specific thing that I have uh, power with. Like I can't, I don't know who's gonna be president, I don't know who's gonna be doing this or who's gonna be doing that. I can't control any of that. But what I can do is like, raise somebody that is aware of his place in the world and um, how he may be perceived and how to give himself power in that so he doesn't have to worry like we all do. I mean, it's inevitable. 